Alright guys, what is up? Today's video we are using the Warden's Rooster Tail by Yakima Bait. This is the one eight white version. It is actually UV, which means it kind of glows underwater, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I got friends that swear by glowing baits for crappie. spinner where the arm comes up, this one is in line with the hooks, so it spins around the entire bait. It's really cool, and this is actually an amazing multi-species lure. It's used from everything from bass to crappie to perch to bluegill to even uh, trout and salmon. It's a really cool lure. I've heard of guys actually using these to hit jack. Drawbacks to this, there are two major drawbacks that I can think of right now. Um, one is if you cast it out, if you're not careful, the line will go underneath the spinner and it won't retrieve right and the spinner won't spin, which takes away like 90% of its effectiveness. The other great drawback is something similar, is uh, it gets tangled on the hook like a crankbaits do, you know, you just gotta watch out for it, it'll get crank stuck on the hook, and then you're cranking it in sideways, and it looks goofy, and that's gonna bite it, and even if it does, then it's probably gonna break off, because you got the line stuck in the hook, um, but overall, uh, if I were to rate it one through five stars, I'd probably give it three stars, it definitely can catch fish of every size, you don't have to worry about it being too big for the little, little half to one pounders to bite, I mean, it's, it's tiny. All you gotta do is figure out what the hatch is in your pond. Alright guys, if you liked my video, if you learned something, if uh, you just thought I was funny, then why don't you go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I'll make sure to reply, uh, give some sort of feedback, tell me what kind of videos you want to see in the future, and uh, I'll try to get to you. We're definitely going to try to get on some salt water here pretty soon. I went with my brother, but I didn't record it, unfortunately, which sucks because he's laid on him. But, uh, just leave me some feedback and I'll, uh, get back to you.
hopefully in this little area where I see people have gotten snagged a lot, so I'm obviously going to try it. I'm hopefully going to get in front of them. So, definitely be sure to walk up quietly. I switch out my boots for tennis shoes. I switch out my boots for tennis shoes because it's softer on the ground, it's quiet, and uh, I can walk up to you bank easier. Second is don't go throwing crankbaits first, do some finesse so you don't scare the fish away and work your way up to something bigger and see how it goes. So right now my finesse is my rooster tail and my something bigger is a Berkeley power bait. Well, um, I got one, I guess. You can say that. That is the smallest bass I've ever seen. I think it's a spotted. I'm trying to be gentle with you little guy. Is that not the smallest bass you've ever seen? It's a tiny bass, but it just proves that the rooster tail is working. Um, and it catches all different sizes of fish. Hopefully, we don't get anyone smaller than this, but I guess we'll have to find out. That's pretty funny. Alright, little guy, time for you to go back. And he is gone. He's actually just sitting right there. That's cool. So the fact that I can still see him shows me something. Um, they're hiding up in the wheat beds. So I need to stop casting out long. Start casting up around the coast. Which is what that tiny little bird over there is doing. So uh, let's give it a shot and try to get on some bigger fish. Alright guys, I, uh, I changed spots. I'm over on the other side of the pond. This is probably the last spot that I'm going to be on before I change ponds ultimately, but already I'm seeing a lot more life. I've seen a couple of turtles, which are going after the same bait that my lure is supposed to represent. I've also seen a couple of crappie flashes that look like they're hitting uh, minnows that look just like this rooster tail that I'm throwing. And then, of course, uh, um, I see the minnows themselves, which look just like the rooster tail. So I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. Let's see what happens. Or I uh, switch ponds. All right, so pond number one, we got a tiny bass, like a quarter pound bass. Um, but that proves that the rooster tail does work. So next up, we're going to be headed over to pond number two. Hey guys, I just uh, snapped off, but like my video yesterday, I told you guys. I stopped what I was doing, I grabbed the line, I pulled the line, I got it out of one branch, and it got stuck in another, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, today is definitely not my day. Jeez, I can see more fish than what's on the left out. I mean, what the heck? I know you guys didn't see it, but I just cast right out into a tree, unfortunately. I've been having really bad luck lately. Maybe it's because I haven't slept in, like, 20 hours. Um, hung up on a tree. Put the rod down, grab the line, and seeing how this is actually my my punching rig. I just, my Texas rig pull is at, uh, out of commission and I had that with me. I took that and instead of the line snapping because it's a 65 pound braid, the tree branch snapped. So made a big splash 